in this video I'll be explaining only how to draw it manually so this is a pentagon 25 mm sides first thing is draw x y line x y line should be thin lines x and y keep it in between the line right v p h p so we need to keep the corner so corner should be in the left side i'm going to write the edge on the right side so that length is 25 mm sides i'm going to take the protractor and draw 72 degrees from the other end and from this end and similarly i'm going to draw it when i'm going to draw it i'm going to draw it symmetrically i'm going to draw it on the right side 72 degrees here 72 degrees I, similarly i'm going to draw it in the left side which is going to be like a mirror image so from here so perpendicular bisector 30 degrees so i'm going to draw the perpendicular bisector for the pentagon So the side length is 25. So this is A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash, E dash. So draw this line. So in top view it is going to be thick line. A is seen, E is seen, B is not seen, D is seen, C is not seen. So front view and top view should be drawn in thick lines. Then the perpendicular bisector is going to be inclined 30 degrees. I'm going to draw a 30 degrees line. I'll take the measurement from A to E and cut an arc. Then I'll take the distance from A to D and cut an arc. Next, project the lines from annotation by annotation this is b dash this is c dash d dash and e dash let's project and wherever it is going to meet this is a this is point is e and b and this point is c and d now let's write the annotation a dash b dash c dash d dash e dash let's join a dash to b dash to c dash to d dash to e dash and to a dash you need to rub this uh, red lines so we are going to call the perpendicular bisector as m1 and m2 or else m and m1 it's up to you this is 30 degrees surface inclinations now perpendicular bisector e is inclined 45 degrees to hp this is very important if it disappears then directly we are going to draw it on the 45 degrees now this is easy inclined means he has given the true inclinations we need to find the apparent inclinations so over alpha is how much is what we need to find it so first thing is i'm going to draw the true inclination that is 45 degrees with respect to hp so the angle is 45 degrees let's keep point a dash to m1 which is the nothing but the true length of the perpendicular bisector we are going to cut it on the true inclination so this is a dash this one is m1 dash now i am going to take, draw the locus line locus of M it should be capital letter M because it is the actual surface so now I'm going to take the apparent length in order to find the apparent inclination that is something but alpha A dash to M2 dash from A I'll cut an arc these two distance from here I'll cut an arc by compass so this one is m2 dash so now i'm going to draw the perpendicular bisector of the apparent length of the pentagon so this is nothing but alpha which is equal this must be equal to some 55 degrees so now this point the a dash m2 dash is perpendicular to d dash c dash so i'm going to draw perpendicular line 
now I'm going to take the distance from m2 dash to d dash which is equals to 25 by 2 which is nothing but 12.5 and 12.5 cut in arc so I'll take the distance from the annotation c dash d dash is done now I am going to take the distance from a dash to b dash will be equal to a dash to a dash from I'll take the compass and measure it and I'm going to cut an arc this side as well as that side now I'm going to take the distance from d dash to e dash in order to get the intersection point and similarly c dash to b dash will be equal so I'll cut an arc now I'm going to join the same thing which has been tilted to an alpha angle which is c dash and this one is d dash so I'm going to project it in order to get its top view project annotation by annotation a is still here b is here c point is at the bottom line then go to d which is again at the last line then go to e. two so this must be e e dash then project this e which is up to this e b line now join write the annotation a b c d e join a to b to c to d to e and to a hope you understood the concept this first step this is second step this is third step this is fourth step so the same the true length i'm going to draw the true length which is nothing but the phi which is then we are going to draw the locus line and then we are going to take the fourth step which how to get it locus line this is seven this is eight hope you understood the the concept and find the alpha 